What's up, everybody? Look at this six pack that I got. Look at a nice six pack. It's actually a Mountain Dew, obviously. <laughs> That's not the six pack that I actually want. I mean, I'm okay with Mountain Dew, but I'm saying I want a real six pack. But anyway, welcome to another What the Hell Did I Just Buy? Episode 10. This one's going to be a pretty, I don't know, longer, shorter. I don't know. Hold on. I'm thirsty as hell. Hold on. Sponsor. Sponsor me, Mountain Dew. Sponsor me. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway, what the hell did I buy? Episode 10. So, yesterday was a road trip day. Went to Ely, Minnesota. Oh, for the reason I went for was for the Beatles, some Beatles glasses. Some of them, they were free. Some of them aren't in really good shape and stuff, but I'm still going to show them off. So let's just do it. As you can see, it's still the Beatles. It's not in good shape. I think the person who had it wound up um, putting it on, you know, putting it on in a dishwasher when they don't belong in a dishwasher. But um, here's another one. This one's in really good shape. Um, I don't know if free stuff is considered what the hell I bought, even though I didn't buy it. And it was free. Here's another one that's in really good shape. But we're going with it anyway. Cal, I know you'll probably watch these. Let me know if the free stuff include as what the hell I bought. Um, here's another one that's in pretty good shape, too. I mean, still a little effed up, but you know. Um, this one's in really good shape. I mean, there's still a little thing there, but you know. Still works pretty good. I gotta find the other ones that are in really good shape, you know. Uh, here's another one that's in good shape, too. You know, not perfect, but you know, it works. Then the last one here. But um, also was included in these was a Coca-Cola glass. That's pretty cool, I think. Anybody that knows me knows I'm a football fan, but I like the Packers, but still cool nonetheless, Vikings. And she also threw in some, like, random, a random cup and uh, another random cup. And also, I'm not going to show them all, but uh, maybe I have to. Never mind. Random, like, martini glasses and whatnot. There's two of those and that. And like three of these. I'm not going to show them all off, but you know. And in Duluth, I got a bunch of records for free. So we're going to show those off too. I don't know who any of these people are. So Leanne Kazan, The Love Album. Um, Sammy Kane and his orchestra. I don't know who any of these are. But uh, how remember how great uh, all these people are in it? These were free as well too. So, but uh, the guitars of Sonny James. This one's brand new, but it was all free. Hold on, I have an itch. But uh, Sammy Sony James again. Charlie McCoy, Good Time Charlie. The, vo the friendly voice of Tex Ritter. Joan Armbadigading, whatever. Probably got to do Yoda or something with that or something. I don't know. Uh, Sonny James again. Piano Greats, Duke Ellington, I know who that is. Uh, Johnny Rodriguez, I believe I know who that is too. Pete Kelly, lets his hair down. Is that a guy? That motherfucker looks like a goddamn girl. Anyway, 
Stan Kenton. Sammy Kane and his orchestra. Campus Rally. Oh, wait. Kay Kaiser and his orchestra. Huh. Did the wrong one. Hillbilly Heaven, Tex Ritter. That might be a good one. Tex Ritter. The best of him. Al, he's the King Hurt. Al, again, another one. Al Hurt or whatever. Like I said, I don't know most of these, so if y'all don't know, if y'all do comment, I don't care. Comment if you know him. Another one, Al Hurt. Another one. Another one. Must have all of his fucking albums in here, I tell you what. Sonny James, another one of all him, I bet. If y'all know who all these people are, feel free to comment and tell me who the hell they are, because I don't know. Like Duke Ellington, I know who that is, but, you know. Marty Robbins. <laughs> I think I might know who this is. Charlie McCoy. Sonny James. Another one. Eddie Arnold. Another Ed. Another Eddie Arnold. Another Eddie Arnold. Hey, Kendall, I'm doing a long video for you. <laughs> Love you, brother. Uh, the Stars in Stereo. Sounds of the big bands, or like I like to call it the 40s. So this should be pretty good. I would assume it's the 40s, I don't know. Remember how great Louis Armstrong, I know who that is. See, I know some of these and whatnot, but most of them, like, good thing I didn't pay money for them. Remember how great Tony Bennett, I think this is a double. I don't know. Joan Armour, whatever, Armating or whatever. Another one. Another one. Stan Kenton. <clears throat> On stage at the Grand Ole Opry. That one might be cool. More country and western favorites. That would be pretty cool. See, some of these are pretty cool. Billy Vaughn. Great country western stars. Hank Williams, I know who that is. So, the Osborne Brothers, I think I know who that is too. Two discs, or two records there. Marty Robbins. Marty Robbins again. Marty Robbins again. Must have all of his fucking records in here. Marty Robbins. Great stars of country and western. Dave Dudley. I know who that is. Another one. Country western with Ray Price and all that. Carl Smith. I know some of them, like I said. Um, Sadie Tramp. Marty Robbins. Don't know why he has a unibrow. Don't know why somebody drew a unibrow on him, but whatever is whatever. All time country and western. Another one. Songs of the Island. Marty Robbins. Uh, King Harry apparently would have been that, but that's no, oh shit. Ha! <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, it's all here, apparently. Um, well, that was a fail. It's literally right there. Whoops. Anyway. Well.
Wayne King and his orchestra. Wayne King again. Another one. Stan Kenton. Marty Robbins. Uh, Best of Country Volume 1 Stereo. Kenton. Sassy. Sarah Vaughn. I think I know who she is. Bachelors, 68. That one. Marty Robbins. George Shearing or whatever. And last but not least... Johnny Rodriguez again. So uh, those were the free stuff. I'm going to move these cups over before they get broken and whatnot. Because I'll be pissed if they get broken and I'll kick some ass. Okay. Now, we get into the stuff that I bought. Oh, God, I'm too old to get up like that. So, before I went down to Ely and whatnot... Oh, God damn. I went over to Savers. And I bought Carlos Mancia. No strings attached. Anybody that knows me knows I love comedians and Comedy Central and whatnot. Carlos Mancia is one of my favorites as well. Then, I also found Mick Foley, Greatest Hits and Misses. And last but not least at uh, Savers, I found Elimination Chamber 2010. So, then, in Virginia, Minnesota, I went to Target. And I found another Mr. Rogers DVD. It's a beautiful day collection that I didn't have. And last but not least, I got a superhero blind bag for $9.99 that I'm going to do an unboxing of. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all for the What the Hell Did I Buy episode 10. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn those notification bells on. You know every time I upload. I love you guys. See you guys in the next video.